Hey there friends, how are you all doing today? My name is Rabbit and thank you so very much for joining me for episode number 16 of Let Simi Blindly Play Through Eternal Eyes for the PlayStation 1. My friends, I am feeling revitalized and rejuvenated because I do have a nice cup of lemongrass tea here with me. So I did take a bit of a tea break and while I was sipping most of this bad boy down, I did a little bit of stuff without you off camera. Nothing too major, but I'm sure the first thing you notice is that there are changes to I think three people got a level. Let me see, hold on, I wanna make sure I'm being accurate. Abi might not have. Maybe he did? I can't really tell. For sure though, Luke got a level, Raj got a level, and Haresh is also now only one level behind Abi as well as Luke. So those are the most notable changes, but I did try to go back to the actual town of Gross Kingdom so that I could sell some of the extra bullshit. I just felt like my inventory was beginning to get a wee bit cluttered and I was feeling anxious about it, but I couldn't access the shop because of all the events that are going down here. So I guess that's kind of a uh, maybe if you hadn't in the past felt inclined to go back and explore some of the other areas where we have unlocked earlier so such as the goon docks I did go back there now so that I could sell my shit and I guess you could upgrade equipment there if you wanted to it's kind of up to you but the point mainly being that I think the game at this point is kind of hinting like hey you can't really interact in Luke's whole hometown with the shops and different people here so where could you go to talk to folks and that would be the goon docks my friends nevertheless I did go sell a little bit of shit but honestly it was kind of rendered pointless and moot because I redid the first floor so I guess let me just say that as an actual recap that we are ready to head onto the second floor we have just been continuing to make our way through gross castle again not sure why anyone would name an area whether that's the buildings within or the actual town itself gross but to be fair we are not really aware of all of the hygiene practices of the inhabitants of this place Place. So it is wholly possible that gross is an accurate description for the place where we're kind of going through right now Who can really say I certainly cannot so what I was beginning to state was that I did redo the floor that we tackled together on episode number 15, which is why everyone has the extra level minus Abby, I guess. But in redoing the first floor, I was able to pick up another set of equipment, and this time it was a piece of armor known as the Mail of Darkness. I'm not going to be swapping it out. I don't think it's better than the Earth Mail that Luke has right now, but I will let you go ahead and see the description for that. I also, oh my God, why do I have so many black blades? Oh, because I just picked up a few of them. Because I swear I had sold these or sold a few of them when I went back to the goondocks off camera. But just so you can see the description, because I do believe this is new, the Mail of Darkness says that it is said to have been made for the Lord of Darkness absorbs high amounts of damage. So kind of cool. I, again, not going to be using it. And I sold a few things in here. Did I not sell the beret? I guess not. I sold the hats and a couple other things, and I guess I left other trash. I don't know. I was really enjoying this tea, I guess. And as you can see, we do still have the magical puppet sort of idling here. I talked about this before, and I won't drool on about it too much right now. We'll get into battle, and I'll talk a little bit more about these thoughts, or I guess I could save them for my initial impressions video that I'll probably record tomorrow, maybe this weekend, we will see. But I didn't go back and tinker with my puppet just because I feel like I'm not personally, maybe you guys experience something different, I don't personally feel there's some sort of internal incentive within the game's parameters that makes me want to increase the number of puppets or dolls that I have just because the evolutionary process is so convoluted or they're just not explaining it to us there's no in-game tutorial and nobody in terms of the NPCs themselves or random books that we could find at a library nothing has given us any information to make informed decisions regarding what we should be doing and who we should be throwing shit at so I'm feeling a little bit bit like I just want to hold on to the team that I have because why would I swap out Haresh for example who's now level 20 
He's hustling with his physical damage, killing it with the wide array of spells that he can tap into. I just don't see why anyone would want to constantly be throwing new jewels or new orbs at the non-animated dolls to turn them into level one puppets that you may or may not be able to get past their second form because you're not sure what recipe or what sequence of jewels you need to tack onto them in order for them to access their second form or their third form, et cetera, et cetera, if that makes any sense. So I'm not necessarily knocking it. I'm okay with keeping my beasts as they are, but but I do wonder in the back of my mind if that will end up limiting us earlier because we're keeping our puppets in a more infantile state and maybe they cannot gain access to more powerful spells as a result of not being evolutionary form three or four for example so i don't know we'll see how that goes but those are just kind of my thoughts but anyway that is enough for recapping off camera stuff what we actually did together in terms of making our way through this castle crawl session and i did finish my story on lucy aren't you guys impressed it didn't take me five episodes but we did tag on like five minutes of story time so hopefully you guys had some tea as well anyhow I did get a couple new jewels. I'm just going to use the ones that I have because why not? We've got them, might as well flaunt them. So let me kind of scroll through. So Abi and Haresh both learn magic. Even though I want to be making sure everyone is getting shit thrown at them, I also want to be getting people more spells and I don't know, feeling like I'm optimizing my party in some way. So nothing here is ready to go onto anyone. So let's see, blue holy. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? That kind of stopped me in my fucking tracks, especially because I was just, I wouldn't say ranting about it, but I was just sharing that I feel it's been a minute since we've seen the opportunity to evolve. And I think this is further evidence that I am super behind the curve. Look at this. So I am right. There is like a recipe system. I just put, I just put, what was it? Red holy onto Abby, and now look at this look at this y'all so by putting the red orb onto Abby, i think that's the base that he needed and now i can give him any of these blues and he'll turn into something we could do blue power we could do blue beast and we could do blue holy i don't know you guys i almost want to save and put each of these on him just to see but i don't want to be that person that obsesses over what my puppets look like but this is crazy <gasps> but he falls at level eight so look at this we're all in our level 20s this is nuts i'm i'm not i guess doing a good job of keeping my puppets evolved obviously oh my goodness okay i'm just going to go with we just did a red holy so why don't we do blue beast <gasps> oh my god you guys what is he gonna turn into <gasps> oh Petter, petter. Oh my god! It's again! Abby! What? I don't know what to say. He's adorable. He doesn't have new spells, but. Okay, I cannot wait to see what he looks like. Let's quickly, you guys, I'm spending more time here on the menu screen than actually taking you through the game. My bad. So quickly, I want to see. Looks like more magic. Hmm. I think, oh God, I still don't know what all of these attributes mean or the abbreviations mean. Although we've seen a few of them and I just keep forgetting what they refer to. Oh Lord Jesus. Yeah, the beret is trash. The twisted towel is so much better. I need to make sure that I get rid of that. I wish I could just throw away items too because it's fucking me up to see this. Okay, so I could do wrestler pants, which increases defense and HR we've got the beautiful earring which also brings up HR but not defense but it brings up HR a lot I also have the ruby bracelet which brings up HP I think that's garbage oh and then I have the sasha strength which brings up everything so yes that is what we are going to put onto Abby <gasps> oh you guys I can't believe this this is so nuts but let me go ahead and keep it moving so that we're not here forever so we've got next blue i didn't put anything on raj so let's do blue holy and i guess we're gonna get 
a base started for him. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll evolve two people. So, what about blue power? He just learns more magic. I'm going to hold off on a second and dip in and out here because I want to be... Oh, well, never mind. I guess that's all I had. So, we will just spread the love around and I will give this one to Harash. And he learns Shan, which I think is brand new. We haven't seen that spell. So, what do you say we end this very long introduction of scrolling through everyone's shit by looking at this new ability and moving forward from there. So, we've got Shan. It is... Oh, it makes a geyser a small amount of damage results. Actually, I think maybe an enemy has had that, possibly. Well, either way, that is it, you guys. There's your recap. There's all of, I guess, the, the prep before we go into battle. I can't believe I was able to string together the sequence to evolve one of our puppets into, I think this is Abby's, I think it's his third form. Form. No, maybe it's his fourth form because all puppets have like a base state and then as a second state I think his red pumpkin or the orange pumpkin head was number two and then the green one he was was ooh uh, Okay, maybe I am no longer thrilled slash impressed with how he's looking. I don't know about this uh, He's like paper thin I'm not feeling this, you guys. But anyway, to finish my thought here, I... Oh my god, I'm so distracted by how awful he looks. It's just not what I was wanting. That's a little ridiculous. But okay, um, so I think... Hmm, maybe I should... I know this sounds so bad. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to go back and try throwing a different set of orbs on him. But whatever, we won't worry about it right now. So as for the other... Oh, hold on, y'all. We've got to check out these monsters. So we've got Chalizadon, which almost looks like a Pokemon. What am I thinking of? Dragonite? But the name is very Digimon, so that's kind of interesting. And then in terms of spells that he has, he has Iggs, which is new, makes a high heat explosion, a small amount of damage results, and then Mahammer, a pillar of fire rises under the feet, a medium amount of damage results. Okay, so new face, new abilities. I like it. That one is super duper cute. And then, okay, am I sort of aging slash dating myself by saying this, but who is with me in seeing all real monsters in in this puppet's design. Just me? I'm all over the place right now, you guys. Okay, so his name is Red Eye, and he has Nebulas, also new, causes a huge dark fog to burst from the ground, a medium amount of damage results. And then Alu, which is not new, a previous beast that we faced, I think at the Hall of Dolls had this, and we ourselves have it on someone. Maybe Abby? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so now let me come back to what I was saying as I've just... And mind you guys, I'm processing so much info over here. And then we've seen those kitty cats before. So what I was thinking is that all puppets have a base form. Then for Abby in particular, he had, we skipped this, but he should have had an orange form, which would have been the second, I guess, evolution. After that then would have been the green one. So technically this para para thing is number four. Four, I think or maybe it might count it at, as number three since I don't know every puppet has to have a base form So maybe in the game's mind it doesn't count I'm not sure how they track that or if the game even cares about something like that So that was one of the other things I was throwing out in the beginning why in the back of my mind I feel oh my god I'm like getting no XP because my team is so over leveled compared to everyone else but that's one of the things in the back of my mind why it does slightly bother me that I don't know how to consistently be evolving my puppets because I'm not sure if oh shit I cannot reach him I'm not sure if there is going to be a penalty in this in the form of puppets who are lower evolutionary forms are limited as to how many spells they can actually access. So for example, let's just use Temp. Maybe a base puppet, regardless of what orbs or jewels you give them, they can't unlock Temp. Whereas from level two or evolutionary form two and onward, you can get Temp, it doesn't matter. So does that kind of make sense what I'm saying? 
Now, I've said this before a few episodes ago that it might not matter. The game might not track this, it might not care. For the game's purposes, maybe one of the reasons for them being so cryptic regarding, you know, puppet evolving and all these other mechanics might be they feel like it's a straightforward game in that you have a team and you just throw these jewels or these orbs at them and they get more either magic slash spells or they get more, I guess, increases and boosts to various attributes and stats. So it's okay if you only have a puppet that you evolve twice for the whole story because you should be picking up equipment and you should be throwing orbs at them enough to where even if they themselves are not evolving, they are still gaining strength and power. And maybe the only true advantage to evolving your puppet is for it to get more base stats, but not necessarily that it's tied to more powerful spells or, I don't know, anything else. Maybe more unique spells. It's not even maybe about the power level, but just the variety. Y'all, I'm totally pulling this out of my ass. I don't know if it makes a difference, but that is kind of what I'm thinking might be what's going down. Who really can say? Again, tons of theory crafting. Maybe these are thoughts better saved for my thoughts and impression video, but we're not there. This is where we're at, and I don't know. I just like kind of talking about these things in real time, even though I feel like there was a lot going through my mind there, so I apologize for my, like... 30 seconds of just muteness because holy crap a new form new faces here on this screen i'm still trying to process what exactly was going down it's been a ride already you guys but we've got a lot of new new things to kind of work our way through and i i feel like i went maybe a bit too far <laughs> with my my grinding and that wasn't my intention off camera when I told you guys I did go back a little bit it was truly to well maybe I did want to get a little bit more padding but honestly I was more concerned about selling all of my shit and then I just thought you know what whatever why not just redo floor number one while I am already off camera and just kind of powering my way through my tea let's see if I can get some more jewels slash orbs to deal with what's going on and, you know, the levels kind of come from there. So instead, I have, hold on, friend. I might be able, nope. I don't think anyone is close enough for him to, well, just kidding. I can get these two. Uh, this isn't the best, I think, because there is that red eye right beside Haresh, but I want to be damaging more than one puppet. I don't want us just chilling here forever, which also makes me think, I want to try to find more AOE spells. I don't know if there's going to be a spell book later on where you can kind of track the different abilities that you've seen, whether on the enemies or on your own puppets, especially if you are the type of player that swaps puppets out a lot. Maybe you don't remember. Like, for example, if I got rid of Haresh and took out Olivier, which is my, I think he's a, what is he called, a jackal? It's been a minute since we went back to our father's basement and kind of tinkered around with the with the options and the menus there. But I think he was, he was called a jackal. And in looking at Olivier, I just wonder, I wonder if there is actually a spell book. There's, ooh, you better miss, bitch. I wonder if it's because I'm paper thin. <laughs> I, you know, I really am not loving that design, but I don't want to reload and do all this shit over again. Does that make me, does that make me bad, you guys? I'm just not feeling it. Ah, uh, I need to just deal with it. It'll be fine. But I wonder, would he have still turned into this? Or does each color, since it has its own like corresponding attribute with it so you know like blue beast blue holy i wonder oh i don't want to use this that is a stat effect i do want to use this i'm trying to kill someone here let's get rid of him because the more people that are staying up that's the more damage i'm gonna have to take to my face and i don't really want to deal with that so get wrecked bro get wrecked but anyway i'm wondering Will the different, I, I guess, like sub parts of, oh God, I'm kind of worried about having him here. Let's cast, do I have temp? I, 
I do. I'm so thrown off by his new appearance that I'm not even making use of the spells that he has in his repertoire here. But if we can kill one person, preferably... Oh, I didn't get the other one. Oh, I think he's up a little bit. We're going to get the hell out of here. I like that I have the ability to move more around the map than when I was in my pumpkin head form. I think he was just a little heavier and clunkier in general. And it just... It wasn't getting the job done. But what should get the job done, I think, with a round of temp over here, one of these guys should... Uh, well, it's not going to be the Dragonite knockoff. But maybe the red eye is close to its demise. And it is, in fact. Okay, so we took out two people. Not bad, not bad. So I guess circling back to something else that I'm thinking on that I talked about at the start of this episode and I just touched on it right now in terms of a spell book being accessible, especially if you are swapping out your puppets a lot and maybe you can't keep track of what spells you've seen before or what spells you've used before. I wonder if there will be a point where maybe they'll let you take a fourth puppet because on one of the screens, it looked like there was room for another one. Like when we were throwing the jewels at everyone, but at the same time, Luke takes up that slot normally in your menu screen. So it might just be, I mean, it might be from start to finish that it is, it's Luke and three puppets, which I still think is so strange for a strategy RPG to limit your team so heavily. I just, I can't really wrap my head around it, especially because most strategy RPGs, I think you have at least one extra person in tow. But this one's not wanting to make that magic happen. Oh lord, these monsters aren't fucking around and I'm not trying to die. So please, if we could just get... Please, please, please. Oh, that wasn't enough. But I should kill him. And I don't think they have what it takes to fuck me up. I say that, but it might be a lie. Well, I will make short work of you guys. Oh, or maybe I won't make short work of them. I think whoever you actually target with temp takes the least amount of damage, and it's the people who get caught up in the fallout. Oh, okay, or I'm full of shit, because the person who was at the very far back is the one who took the least amount of damage. So apparently, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I know, you guys, I'm just trying to figure this out alongside you. So let's throw this down as well. And I think we should be able to call this fight a wrap. Oh no! You're joking. Well, I want to at least try to distract them. Come on, Harash, pull them back, pull them back. Don't let them attack my chest. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is the game gonna fuck with me? And are they gonna do it? I think he might be. Oh, he didn't. <gasps> I might have just dodged a bullet. I don't think they're targeting my shit. Feels good, man. Feels so good. Well, this turn is a wrap for them, y'all. What do you say we go out with a little bit of style? If Luke is ready, holy crap. I can't believe I took so much damage. I guess these Dragonite things, they're pretty tough. When we were looking at the description of what they kind of had in tow, they had medium, I think it said like medium power spells or medium damage spells. And all we've really had so far are small damage spells. So seeing this is kind of cool. It makes us feel like we are truly progressing. Find a new shit, y'all. Find a new shit. But, all right, Dragon Knight. Oh, my God. Are you going to die or are you going to? <gasps> Yay! Levels, baby. Well, we should get levels, to be honest. It's been, it's been a journey. And I think we will wrap this up with a... Do you want to do Icicle or... We're not using Inkle. Nope. Every time I see that, I keep reading it as uncle, though. <laughs> so, okay, you are gone. Really? If y'all could see my face right now, I don't even know what to say. Well, I'm going to kill this one, at least. You guys didn't forget, Haresh is packing some big damage with his physical attack. So, we're going to kill him without tapping into our mana pool here. Oops, not status. My bad, my bad. Well, I guess I should not have gotten a little too confident. I was talking mad shit, wasn't I? I was like, this is it. It's a wrap for them. Get ready to get fu- He didn't move. Why didn't he move? 
You guys, why didn't this thing move? That's so weird. Maybe he's trapped? That's so strange. I honestly don't think I've ever seen them just sit there, but whatever, that works for me. It made it faster. <laughs> so, yes. And what an excellent way to wrap up a fight with levels for Luke. We also got another Earth Mail, just selling fodder, a pink W jewel, great. We also got another Earth Mail. Okay, I'm just gonna click through this so it's not taking too long. A Dragon Lance, ooh. I like it, a mithril bow. Holy shit, you guys, I can't even keep up with all this good stuff we're getting. We got a white pea jewel. We got wolf claws, which not super great. I actually sold a pair of wolf claws already, so not anything I'm going to do a backflip over. And we've taken up quite a bit of time, don't mind me. I'm just scrolling through all this shit now. I feel there's nothing too special to see on the end combat screen there, but I do, you know what, we'll just, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of excitement and anticipation regarding the descriptions of these new things we picked up. But we did just see ourselves with two fabulous new items, or I should say specifically weapons. We got a few new items, but we got a dragon lance and a mithril bow, both of which we will check out in our upcoming episode. And we picked up, I think, two jewels, which we'll just throw at some folks. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll be able to evolve someone else. I don't feel confident that I will magically find the right recipe for one of my pappets here, but you never know. Fingers crossed, right? So as always, my darlings, when parting ways with you, I'd like to thank you for joining me, your host, Rabbit, for this semi-blind run of Eternal Eyes on the PlayStation 1. So take care, be good, and I will see you in just a moment in video number 17.